When you think of seasons in a video game these days, you think of quarterly updates giving you new goods and progression. Well, I'm not talking about that crap today. I'm talking about the OG seasons. Summer, winter, fall, and spring. And the massive impacts that they will have on the world of Vera as you are out progressing on your adventures in Ashes of Creation. Each season in Vera will last a week currently, although I'm hoping this changes as we get to test and give more feedback because that seems a bit short to me but anyways during the weekly downtime each week that's when the seasons will change and be activated and when you log back in you'll have progressed into the next one seeing a similar yet different vera that you were used to the day before what was once a forest filled with green leaves may now have bare trees with leaves covering the ground rivers and streams that you were once able to fish at may be frozen over allowing you to walk across them and the roads you once used for caravan routes may be blocked to do massive storms or fallen trees. And just from these examples, you can already tell that the time of year will have a tremendous impact on how you play. But not just for your interactions with the world, but the economy as well. Going back to the frozen river, for example, maybe that river was filled with fish that was crucial to making a certain type of potion for your next raid that you desperately need and are running low on. Well, now you can't just fish it out of the river as that access has been blocked, requiring you to seek out and trade someone who has it. And with less available in that region you were in, this means the prices are going to go up, and the node that you went into to trade in the market is now going to rely more heavily on caravans bringing these goods into the city, as well as players traveling far from lands that aren't currently iced over. But the caravans could also take longer to arrive to these nodes as well, as the roads they once traveled down may be covered in snow, causing them to either have to take an alternate path or slowly trek through the snow eating up more of their time because nodes are meant to speed up your travel so if you're traveling on the road with a caravan you're going to move faster than if you were traveling off-road for those seeking out the farming artisan life well seasons will also have an impact on your farming and crop rotation so certain things may only be able to grow in certain seasons putting in even heavier demand for those items in the off season it won't always feel like these seasons are working against you though as they could also come with buffs giving you certain advantages within crafting and with your ability as well during certain seasons. For example, mage's ice abilities may be slightly stronger in the winter, or maybe your crops are able to grow a lot quicker in the summer. With seasons come various climate effects as well, from small drizzles of rain to tropical hurricanes, or a flurry of snow turning into a massive blizzard, impacting your travel in the world along with the creatures and resources available to gather. There will be some zones out there in Vera that have fixed climates, so you know what you can expect in that zone at all times, but they will still change during the seasons. There is always a chance of certain world events affecting the season and climate as well, as maybe somebody put a spell over a tropical zone turning it into a deep winter, or a great fog has rolled up from the ocean covering some zones due to a sea creature being awoken from player events. There is even talks of things such as a winter dragon being awakened due to a node's progression, which could bring an eternal winter to this zone until citizens of that node have risen up together to defeat that dragon and bring back a regular season rotation. For something that tends to be so small in other MMOs, just playing around in the background, Intrepid is once again taking seasons to the next level. As now, seasons are something that you will have to keep in the back of your head as you and your friends or guilds are planning their next steps into this world. What are your thoughts on seasons in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to make an account, feel free to use Use my referral link in the description below where all referrals will go towards benefiting and growing this channel. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.